Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fandom Fridays, where we proceed to check out all the fanfics that are not by. Because I haven't had the chance to do Lex Luthor Triumphant in a while. So here we go. Chapter is Car Kent. You remain the who is Car Kent. Outside this world, Richie Adler's hands were shaking. He wanted to shout, You are you! But he was in the vault, working on the code. And although he had tampered with the video feed monitoring his work, he could keep his reaction to check. Come on. Oh, he remained as he was. Rich. Time well and over. He resumed typing, sending lines and tweaking the code as far as it was a slow, time-consuming effort, creating algorithms that could search every game and pulling untold memory personality. Memories and hope it would hold together, just enough to allow him a way back to his brain. It was a task fraught with peril. There were hundreds of drift in a jumble of information. Because new locks, barriers, gates, and scramblers are the highest hit memories. Currently, he had a 180 second window, and his prep work became lengthier. It took him eight weeks this time, and 30 seconds now. And if Superman didn't follow the first old path he laid for him, he would need to spend another eight weeks, maybe more. He knew he was playing with his life and families. Luther's tone never reasonable. When he was given full access in the Where Did Superman Go speech, he just asked how his wife was doing, and concentrated about Jenny losing a baby sister. I all rise on collecting a very fat paycheck. But every time he was at home and saw the floor that led to his little girl's room, he knew he Superman would have saved her. If he would have saved her, there would be no need for parents to bury their children. He came out of his reverie in time to see that he failed once again. Clark shook his head and made Clark's sheet go brightly and split into thousands of points of light spreading in every direction till nothing remained. The first old mind was empty once more. He sighed, rested his head in his hand, and rocked back and forth for a few minutes, tension gripping him in the neck muscles and holding tight. He would have to start the process again, but with the cumulative difficulty that the pieces of his personality and memories were getting smaller and smaller, due to the fact that the virtual pool where his senses was submerged grew larger by the second. Images of Lois, his children, of parents, childhood friends, hopes, and dreams, they were not enough to hold them together. He disbelieved the illusion at first, prompting him to seek more answers. But he kept on disbelieving, thinking their way out was more of a liberate trap. Your name is Clark Kent. You are Superman. You need to find Lois. Luthor is behind all this. He could be led to a certain point, but after that, it all came crumbling down. And when the time was up, and he was still stuck in their magical dreamland, so everybody simply pulled a big bang and went back to being lost in cyberspace. It was like a bad virus that rebooted to the computer before he had time to upload a cure. If it had taken him three days to get a few, a few dozen memories, he ran a Superman scenario where he rescued his little girl. Back then, he just said, Nice try, Luthor, and flew away from his path, searching for crimes to stop. He did a dozen Superman scenarios until he realized Clark would have a better chance of success. Superman was always busy flying around, but Clark... Oh, Clark would have better tethers to this world, but he disbelieved. His once plentiful memories were harder to put together. At one time, he could form a complete set of memories to suits. He tried to whip up fake memories to bridge the gaps, but he saw through it immediately. In some cases, he had to very violently. He knew another attempt would take eight. No, nine was being realistic. No time to go. He knew he needed to star, walk away, tell someone about it, and yet, he couldn't just leave it alone. He couldn't tell anyone. Who'd believe him? It was all over the news that Superman was he would sneak out with any evidence. Plant it online, be dead before he knew it. He had to get Superman back. He thought, what once later. Let's look around the conference room. He had been busy, very busy, this past few days, and he needed to cleanse his palate with latest reports and discoveries from the top scientists and researchers. Ingersoll, you have the floor. Please report that we've overhauled the Spice Ally software, but we failed to discover why he could still learn to fire. Lysa's face did not betray emotion. Loss. 22%. So it now takes more than two seconds to fire? Do you know how many miles it could cover in two seconds? Yes, sir. Even with our overrated combinations, 
It's still been suspended. Says, yes, sir. Did you manage to increase the power in the beam? Not really, no. No more stress. And even if they did, the energy beam that converts it cannot be improved. We're literally getting everything we can for the materials. There have been a few times when the systems that have the target down cold in the beam misses by inches. Sultan notes, We couldn't find errors in the programming. The algorithm works as intended. There are no bugs. We're adding a subroutine that will force a recheck between the intended target, the targeting computer, and satellite visuals. We're confident it'll work. Confident. 100% sir, sir. I'm monitoring the development myself. Good. No, sir. We're not able to produce uh, neither the contact lens lasers or the X-ray specs, sir. Every simulation we ran returned with disastrous results to the Alara's eyeball. We tweaked it as we far we dared, and we built a model for our tests. Makes his eyebrows shot up. You mean the chart remains pictured on page five? No, I'd like to pause that. Yes. Had it been in someone's eye, it would have turned the skull into a pressure cooker, and steam inside the cranium would have... Let's lay the hand and Miller trade off. All right, move on to the next project. Williams, what is going on in Site 1? You have the latest inventory, sir. Along with our best guesses as to what is the purpose and function of the objects, we define them in several categories. Weapons, armor, gadgets, kids' bills, trinkets, and... Too scary to know. Your guys seem to have a flair for the dramatic. Oh, uh, yes. The test sucking plant. Holly was cut by and when we separated them, he became a raging man. We're trying to get a test to it again. I remember. He moved him from your service and into the psych ward. Be careful with that plant. But let me know if we can synthesize it, whatever enzymes it detects, either for inducing or controlling rages. The possibilities are interesting. We're mass producing the energy sources from the guns, and the military is very pleased. Major Holden keeps telling us they want them like hell needs ice water. Good. Just to take the heat off our spastic satellite. How are we doing regarding the cleaning robots? They're surprisingly simple. We're testing them in our Ritikov facility, ironing out the power source look kinks, but they're going to be big money makers. Lex, look at an hour file leads to it. Malusi, how's the medical research? We were beating our heads against the wall with the heating matrix, but we came up with a workaround. We are ready to test it on large subjects. Lex made a note to call his agent in the FDA. Remember, I want a common cold, cancer, asthma, AIDS, and Alzheimer's gone. But that's just my starter list. Lauren, how fair is the fault? You know, what I love about this part... It shows the scary part of Lex doing this. We know he's evil for killing so many people and has been manipulating them, but now we're seeing Lex Luthor being kind of check, and he's doing good. It's still horrifying that he has to mutilate somebody, but he's doing good here. He's saving lives. I'll leave it to you to decide if the cost was worth it. Time chasing Adder, but look with the fun damage, and he never knew who he tweaked his memory, locating the algorithm into doing the opposite, keeping the memories far away from each other as possible. This is an security. The meeting carried on for a few hours, when it cooks office. Pearl had the latest reports from his agents. It was eager to read them. The presented teams were filing them around the clock, after a while, he briefly considered taking a break and watching the videos, and holding his head by the spit curl. He felt a buzz in his front pocket. He grabbed his pistol phone and answered, Yes. Lex had trouble in every level of government. A woman with a serious gambling problem then investigations. The keeps keeps, and they're going to subpoena you. Rex smiled. All hell broke the fight, and the destruction of lame matter. There was no denying it. They recovered enough pieces communities, human and men, to find out what had happened. There were hundreds of costume interval to take a shot at them. Failed threats from Green Lantern, vandalism from the Flash, and even a stern talking to from Captain Marvel. Well, he soon was going to be one of those. He walked away while Marvel was saying, You see, Miss Luthor! An idiocy from a pale imitation. Three hours, maybe this. But the line goes silent for a while, and said in his iciest voice. 
Why? They brought people from outside. You see, they surveyed shit that I found every bug I planted. I had to stop. But I left one of the tablets in the room, and I went in via the tunnel downloaded at the usual spot. No. Use the third ultimate. We need to be too careful. Who is in charge of this? I you say Timmons? I know of him. He's a good lawyer, bit of a glory hound. But no, this is not Timmons is doing. Not by a long shot. Who's to keep behind this? Who's Brickman? Ah. Like Circus Jen, the third is a big three. Now it makes sense. Good job, Pinkin. If those are useful, I'll double it. He hung up and dialed the number. Voice entered by his second ring. Jonah? Lex liked him. Didn't waste his time with Vile Chat. I need an update on the gold project. It's Ray! We just need to calibrate it! Will it work? On paper, the number looks fine. But we don't have access to the item. Our best guess is to turn the dials way up. They closer. Get it ready. I'm on my way. You know, I love this fic. I really do. And I also love that this is a mix of comics and some cartoon continuity. But I have to ask. Where's Kara in all of this?